Hey, what's up, guys? Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. And today I want to answer a question that I got not too long ago about how to export tracks for mixing within Cubase. So the person was actually asking me, how do I proceed uh, when it's time to send my recording to a mixing engineer? You know, so if I'm not mixing the project, for example, um, how do I send my tracks? How do I label my tracks? And, um, you know, how do I um, send my project out? You know, if the person is not using Cubase. So this goes in the case where you want to send your recording to a mix engineer or if you want to collaborate with some somebody else you know that works on another platform than Cubase so let's dive into it all right so before we dive in again the usual subscribe and like and share this video that helps the channel a lot and don't forget to click on the notification bell so every time I upload a video you get notified. All right, so let's look at the session I have right here. Okay, this is a just a test session to show you um, how I proceed uh, to export all of my tracks um, for a mix uh, session. Um, so I'm just going to go into my uh, project window here. So I have all of my tracks here in my project window, and I just need to do a few things before I proceed with the uh, the bounce, the bouncing of all the tracks. Um, first, I have to make sure that all of my crossfades are well done, that there is no clicks whatsoever. So I have to go through all the tracks, listen to them, make sure that all the crossfades are well done and so on. So I need to do that to all the tracks, checking all the edits, make sure everything is fluid and everything sounds good, okay? Once this part is done, um, I am gonna go on my mix console and I'm gonna make sure everything is um, uh, is at the same level, okay? So I'm gonna reset my, my console basically so I have everything in the center, all the tracks in the center nothing panned and all the faders at zero okay so uh, to do this i have like a fast way of doing so you just go here on top on the top right there's a small arrow if you click on that arrow and go down here you'll see reset mix console channels okay you click there and i'm going to click on reset all and there you go everything has been resetted to uh, zero as far as the faders goes and all the panning is at the center. So this is what I want. Next, what I need to do is to set up my locators. Okay, so uh, I am gonna just select all of the tracks by clicking on the control A or command A if you're on Mac and uh, click on the letter P. And this is gonna set my left and right locator. Okay, so for example, if I just click on one event and click on P, it is gonna select, it is gonna set up the locators for that event only. So by selecting all the events within the project and clicking on P, it's gonna set up the left and right locators according to uh, all the events I have in my session. And then what I usually do, I just bring the first locator. I make sure the first locator starts at zero, okay? Um, now, I just note the BPM of the song, which is 112 BPM, okay? I'm gonna keep that one in mind. And I am gonna go on top, on file, export, and audio mix down. I'm not gonna make, you know, I'm not gonna do a stereo bounce of the, uh, the of the session because what I want to do here is to export each individual tracks um, separately. Okay, so the mix engineer has all tracks uh, separately, so he can do his own uh, mix. Okay, um, so to do so, what I'm first gonna do here is to activate the channel batch export. Okay, then I am gonna go down and look for audio channels right here and I'm going to click that I'm going to check that on okay so now all of my audio tracks um, has been selected um, and I make sure in my session I have to make sure that nothing is on mute everything is in the center all at zero and nothing is muted now if you listen to uh, to the session it's not going to sound very good nothing is balanced so it's going to sound odd okay don't worry about that um, now everything has been selected all my audio tracks are selected Next, what I need to do, I need to check my naming scheme. Okay, I'm going to click here uh, on the naming scheme tab. And um, now I want the files to export with the name, the channel name, and the channel number. So this way it's going to be easier for the mix engineer or your uh, your collaborator uh, to um, 
to, to import and place all the tracks to the correct uh, position. Uh, this is good. I'm going to click on OK. Uh, now, I'm going to start my tracks by naming them. Okay, so I'm going to put usually the title of the song. Okay, so this is a untitled song. So for now, I'm just going to write on song title and the BPM of the project, which is 112 BPM. Okay, so I'm going to write this down. So the mix engineer is going to know that that song, these tracks are at 112 BPM. Uh, I'm selecting my the folder I want to export all the tracks in. And now uh, I'm going to go to the audio engine output part. Okay. Now I checked in mono down mix because I want all individual tracks to be bounce as mono tracks as they are already in my session. So if I have some stereo tracks, I'm going to do this twice. I'm first going to export and bounce all the mono tracks, and I'm going to come back, do an export audio again, only for the stereo tracks. So if I have like MIDI instruments, I'm going to do this, uh, this procedure a second time just for the MIDI, uh, just to bounce all of my MIDI to audio, okay? Um, so for now, everything is in mono. I'm going to click on mono. And uh, that's about it. I'll make sure the sample rate and the bit depth is the same as it was uh, recorded. And I'm going to click on export. And it's going to take some time depending on how uh, much uh, tracks you have in your session. All right, so there you go. Now let's go and look at the folder where I exported all the tracks. And this is my folder. So all the tracks are right here, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I can actually go and start a new session. I'm gonna new, take an, I'm just gonna start an empty project here. Okay, I'm gonna import all of these tracks as if I was the person mixing the project. Audio files, all of my uh, files are there. I'm going to click on open, copy to directory. That's good. It's going to copy everything in the audio uh, folder of this session. I'm going to click on different tracks because I want them to be uh, important in my session on separate tracks. And there you go. I have all of my um, uh, all of my tracks in that session. Um, now there's something here that I noticed, okay, that I might do differently if I do this again. Um, it's with the names of the files, okay. If you notice the um, the track number is at the end, so I can change that around. So next time it is going to import in order instead of randomly, okay. So let's do that again. Let's go back to file export audio mix down. Now in naming scheme, the track number is at the end. So I'm going to bring that before the channel name. Okay. So this way it is going to import in order in the, the same track order that I have right now in my session. I'm going to click on OK. Everything is in mono. And then I'm going to click on export. Perfect. Let's start a new project. Empty project. Okay. All right. Uh, import. Audio file, there you go. I'm gonna select everything, open. Different tracks, and there you go. Now everything is in the same order than it was in my session, okay? So it's a small detail, but it's good to know. All right, guys, so this is how I export my tracks for mixing or for collaboration. Now, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below, and again, the usual. Click on the subscribe button below and don't forget to share and to like this video. All right, guys, take care and until next time, see you.